had, I know you redshirted that first national championship, mm -hmm. but I mean, to be five years, five, five playoffs, just what's that like? It's surreal, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't think it's something that I will truly be able to appreciate till I'm a few years away from, from this place. Um, you know, it's just surreal. It's a, it's a great feeling. Um, been a part of a lot of great teams. Um, a lot of great players have been in and out of here. Um, and, you know, it's truly just an honor to be a part of such a great program. What's your favorite college football playoff uh, moment that you like? Oh, man, that's tough. They're all great, to be honest with you. Um, but I think that first national championship win, I don't think, you know, you can surpass a feeling like that, um, knowing that you know, the year before we were so close. Um, and, and to be able to come back and get back to that moment and be able to pull, pull it out the way we did in that fashion with the, with the pass and the one second on the clock from Deshaun to, to Renfro, like that whole moment, it's just, ah, it's hard to explain that feeling. It's pretty great. How do you describe the college football playoffs as a whole with the other 13 games that lead up to it, just the, the difference in atmosphere and the stakes when you get to that stage? Well, we, at least here at Clemson, I mean, we, don't, we don't treat it any differently. I mean, each, each game is a playoff game for us. I mean, if we had lost, you know, week four, you know, the odds of us making the playoffs would have gone dramatically lower. Um, so we treat each and every game like a playoff game and a playoff mentality. I mean, it's just now like the whole, you know, tension being, you know, with the college football playoffs, you know, the media attention, the, the hype, you know, that's kind of what changes it a little bit. But like for us, as our mentality, it doesn't, it doesn't change. Uh, what position do you use? I know Isaiah is listed as a linebacker. How would you describe what he does and what he plays? He's very versatile. He's, um, you know, he's a nickel. He's a Sam linebacker. He's a, you know, he's a dime. He's, he's very flexible. He can go all over the place. Um, but, you know, he, he, he is a linebacker. You know, he's part of the, the LB group. Um, so uh, he, he's just a very flexible, versatile player, which is a, is a, is a testament to him and his hard work. Chad, there's uh, four of you guys that are part of these five playoff teams. To, to do that, you have to be kind of a unique uh, think, talent that in that you're really out. good to be part of an elite years, team, but not quite good enough that you were to leave early. To win is, is that kind of an uh, interesting slot that you guys fit into, you think? Uh, we don't necessarily look at it that way, per se. I mean, we just kind of focus on uh, on the here and now um, and, and controlling what we can control and, and putting forth our best effort and practice and our preparation um, each and every week uh, and, and, and let the rest handle itself. And we don't necessarily worry about that type of things. You know, don't let it try and get to our minds and distract us a little bit. We just kind of focus on, on what we can control and everything like that. Your, your coordinators and Dabo talked about the great leadership of you guys. What What's that been like for you to be one of the well, you know, senior team. leader guys so this year? Well, I mean, growing up, so, I mean, not growing up, I mean, just being a part of the programs of the past five years, seeing a lot of great leaders uh, um, come in and out of this, this program, being able to, to see how they led and being able to take bits and pieces and being able to, to pass it on to the younger guys as I got older. Um, being able to demonstrate by example, lead by example, um, both on and off the field uh, is, is how us as a group, collective group, lead these young guys. Um, we show them the ropes uh, when they first get here, uh, what the expectation is of them, both on and off the field. We expect them to um, rise to the standards. Um, and as you know, best is the standard here. So that's both on and off the field in your personal life, academics, um, practice, preparation. And so that's just kind of how I've been taught you know, growing up. That's how it was for me. And so because she kind of passed it down just like that. I think field is Chad, before the season started, Don Munson was saying that if there was ever a perfect fit between Brent Venables and a player, it would be you. Um, what, what do you think he means by that? Oh. Um, that's interesting. Uh, analogy there. Um, I'm not quite sure, to be honest with you. Because um, I guess, I guess really it's just, you know, Coach V is a very intense very focused, very driven um, uh, individual. And I would say that uh, for the same about me, it's just a little bit different way. He kind of shows it a little bit. I kind of keep it in. 
um, and over the past five years, I mean, with me redshirting my freshman year, um, and then just kind of buying my time, uh, waiting for my opportunity to start, um, I had to stay driven, I had to stay committed, I had to stay focused, I still had to have that same intensity and that same preparation each and every day, just like Coach V. Coach V brings that energy every single day. I mean, he shows it in a little bit different way, but I'm, you know, I'm more a little bit reserved. Um, as you can tell, um, you know, comparing it to Coach V, um, I think that's kind of what he meant. I think everyone put it in words. Ben was ever um, formal, like like Debo was saying, like he's actually a very sweet human being, but we don't ever, we just kind of see the going nuts. Yeah, so I, I guess no one was like kind of. A, I don't mean it in a negative. No, it's no. I, I I know what you're trying to say. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a, he is a normal guy. Um, uh, it's it's hard for y'all because you guys you guys don't really see um, the personal side of him. Um, he's a great family man. He loves his two daughters, um, and you know he, he 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 is a family guy. He really is a family guy. He loves us uh, all the linebackers, um, and he, he he treats us as like his own sons. Um, yeah, but you know he also holds us to a high standard on the field, and he expects us to prepare the same intensity and the same mindset that he does. He holds us to that standard. He expects us to go above and beyond. Um, and, then, you know, we, we understand that. We, we strive for that each and every day. Um, but honestly, he's, he really is a great guy. Um, he's one of the reasons why I came here. Um, he's intense. He's driven. He's extremely smart. One of the best, if not the best defense coordinator there is. He's also a great guy. Just kind of business as usual for you guys going back to another college football really job. Yeah, you, 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 you could say that, yeah. I mean, we we expected to be here. We wanted to be here. That was one of our goals, for sure. Um, but at the same time, you know, we don't take anything for granted. Uh, each and every game uh, throughout the season was a one-game mentality. Uh, and, and we ended up, and we were fortunate enough to be here. Uh, but at the same time, we, we wanted to be here. Um, and we, we know what it's like being here, uh, being a part of the past five college football playoffs. Um, so we understand what we're getting our hands into. Um, and so it's just right now, it's just uh, taking it one day at a time, preparing, because um, it truly is a one-game season right here. Can you guys 